NASA launched its Mars 2020 mission from Cape Canaveral, Florida, on 30th July 2020. And the spacecraft is now on its seven-month journey towards Mars. Meanwhile, SpaceX is developing its Starship rocket in Texas for its goal of sending human to Mars and setting up a colony there. So, how the Mars 2020 mission helps Starship to achieve its goal? That's the topic for today's video. If you want to learn more about Mars 2020 mission, we have done a video discussing in depth about the mission. I will provide the link to the video in the description. Getting astronauts to the Martian surface and returning them safely to Earth is an extremely difficult engineering challenge. A thorough understanding of the Martian environment is critical to the safe operation of equipment and to human health. The Perseverance rover is demonstrating key technologies for using natural resources in the Martian environment for life support and fuel, which helps both NASA and SpaceX to prepare for future human exploration of Mars. The safety of astronauts is of paramount importance to any Mars mission. Mars lacks an ozone layer, which on Earth shields us from lethal doses of ultraviolet radiation. We do not have good information about the amount of ultraviolet radiation that reaches the Martian surface. A more detailed understanding of the radiation environment on Mars will provide the information necessary to assess the effects of UV radiation on astronauts, as well as help engineers design protective spacesuits and habitats. We do know that the Martian soil contains superoxides. In the presence of ultraviolet radiation, superoxides break down organic molecules. While superoxides' effect on astronauts is probably not serious, their impact and that of any other unique chemical aspects of the Martian soil must be assessed before human exploration of Mars can begin. Perseverance is designed to learn the amount of UV radiation reaching Martian atmosphere and to study superoxides in the soil. Upon arriving on Mars, the spacecraft performs a set of entry, descent, and landing sequences, known as terrain relative navigation. We have explained the terrain relative navigation sequences in our previous video, so check out that video for the details. Terrain relative navigation technology of Perseverance can help Starship to land safely on Mars in future, especially when the land below is full of hazards like steep slopes and large rocks. The seven entry descent and landing camera attached to the rover records entry, descent and landing in greater detail. They will shoot full-color video of Mars 2020 throughout its descent to the Martian surface. So, the successful touchdown of Perseverance rover will aid the safe landing of Starship on Mars in future. Some of the instruments carried by Perseverance is developed by NASA to aid future human exploration on Mars. The data collected from these instruments helps both NASA and SpaceX to achieve their goal of Mars colonization. The Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer, also known as META, makes weather measurements, including wind speed and direction, temperature and humidity, and also measures the amount and size of dust particles in the Martian atmosphere. These environmental factors are critical to sustain human life on Mars. META helps astronauts to know what weather conditions they'll face on Mars. Their safety depends on accurate weather predictions. META will help prepare for human exploration by providing daily weather report and information on the radiation and wind patterns on Mars. SpaceX can design their human habitat based on the data from META. The Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, better known as MOXIE, will demonstrate a way that future explorers might produce oxygen from the Martian atmosphere for propellant and for breathing. Carbon dioxide makes up 96% of the gas in Mars' atmosphere. And oxygen is only 0.13%, compared to 21% in Earth's atmosphere. MOXIE makes oxygen just like a tree does. It inhales carbon dioxide and exhales oxygen. If you ask me to name one instrument on Perseverance, which will bring huge benefit to SpaceX and Starship, I will select MOXIE with no doubt. When we send humans to Mars, we will want them to return safely, and to do that, they need a rocket to lift off the planet. Liquid oxygen propellant is something we could make there and not have to bring with us. Starship is planning to extract oxygen from Martian atmosphere to use it as oxidizer for its Raptor engine for the return journey from Mars. Data collected from experiments conducted by MOXIE will help Starship to develop a better technology to extract oxygen from Martian environment. Thus, SpaceX can literally bring an empty tank from Earth and fill it with oxygen from Mars. 
The radar imager for Mars subsurface experiment, known as RIMFAX, uses radar waves to probe the ground under the rover. Just like explorers probing below Earth's crust, scientists can use this radar instrument to see the unexplored world that lies beneath Martian surface. RIMFAX can detect ice, water, or salty brines of more than 10 meters beneath the surface of Mars. Engineers based the RIMFAX design on ground-penetrating radar used on Earth to probe the underground layers of rock and ice in the Arctic and Antarctic. RIMFAX is the first radar tool sent to the surface of Mars on a NASA mission. A perfect map of underground water resources helps SpaceX to select the locations to set up a human base for future human explorers. The car-sized Perseverance is the hope of a bunch of scientists and engineers who were aiming to set up a human colony on Mars. So, let's wait for the findings of Perseverance in the Martian soil and see how it benefits NASA and SpaceX to build a Martian base in future. If you are curious to know the Starship developments happening in Texas, watch our previous video discussing the complete history of Starship from 2007 to 2020. I will put the link in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel for future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.